Today on our Wavespreneur segment, we bring to your viewing pleasure our exclusive chit-chat with a lawyer who decided to trail a new line of endeavor in the fashion industry. She is by name Taiwo Olushola Odedino. Taiwo Olushola Odedino is the CEO of Thai Beauty Studio, a one-stop shop for everything beauty and fashion. The lawyer turned businesswoman is a graduate of law from the Olabisi Onabanjo University, Agoiwoye. Her love for looking exceptional and passion to make others look good led her into the fashion industry where she is currently setting the pace and doing wonders. Taiwo currently runs a beauty studio that provides makeup services, hairstyling, wardrobe styling, and photography. Her one stop beauty studio renders services ranging from what you wear, how to look, and creating lasting impressions with photography. Outside the world of business, Taiwo loves to cook, dance, and travel. Good day, my name is Taiwo Dedino. I'm the CEO of Thai Beauty Studio. And here we do makeup, hair, photos, and uh, styling, wardrobe styling. We are just your one stop shop, so everything beauty. Um, I'm actually a lawyer and I practice for about eight years fully into practice, and um, somewhere along the line. I fell in love with makeup and everything and how I started. Uh, I've always heard this story all the time. Um, it was my best friend's wedding and uh, we got there. She got um, a makeup artist to do a makeup for a wedding. I got there pretty late. I just had my baby done and uh, we got there. All of them had their makeup done by professional and all that. I hadn't started professionally then. So when I got there, when they saw me like, oh, that was there, oh, okay, 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 come and do it all over again. Just, I'm like, okay, I think I can. Then I fixed their faces, tied their gaily and everything. And I went back home and I said, okay, I can actually make money from this thing that I love to do. I would do that for my friends in school, and uh, even at law school, when I was in law school in Lagos here, yeah, I would mm -hmm, shape on their brows, we took on, that was like um, 10, 15 years ago. Yes, we'll do that. And I just thought about it. I could make money off this thing. Why not? And not looking back since then. I practiced fully as a lawyer. I was working with DJ Fadishi. <laughs> if you hear this, I worked with him for a about seven years into full litigation and I would do side also little bright here and there and um, it was fun and it was a lot I mean it was tasty so about um, seven years ago that was when I stopped full practice but I still do my private practice draft agreements and do all of that once a lawyer forever a lawyer so <laughs> I'm not going to show that the way honestly It wasn't easy and thankfully, I mean, I would thank my husband. He supported me when I was trying to transition into entrepreneurship and all that. Um, I would work from home. I mean, I would do home calls. People would come over to my house or I would go over to their home to do the makeup and all. Then it was um, five years ago, about this time five years ago, I just said, okay, why not have a space? Why not have a place where people can come in and feel comfortable, get their makeup done, get dressed, take photos, and feel very beautiful about themselves. And that is how we this came up about. It wasn't easy. <laughs> was, I mean, it wasn't easy at all, but hey, you had support from friends, family, and here we are. Passion is key, but it's not enough. I mean, you have to sweat it, you have to work hard, you have to keep learning. I mean, learning never stops. I've been doing makeup now, at least the first bride I made up, uh, should it be like um, 12 years ago, yeah? And um, keep evolving new things, you have to keep learning. When I have students over here, I tell them, 
oh the sky is big enough don't be intimidated by the number of makeup artists by the number of stylists out there but one thing will set you aside i mean there, there can't be two of you out there the way you do it it would definitely appeal to someone that's why i say i mean no matter how good or bad in quotes someone is you would definitely appeal to someone and you need to keep trying give it your best and trust me you will be recognized it will pay off when you passion is is key but you need to work hard you need to put in all the work and you will yes we take our hygiene seriously i mean our products and our appearance we take it very very seriously we oftentimes when you come in and they see how one we communicate there's a lot of communication when i'm meeting a client for the first time i like to engage them talk to them and make them feel comfortable i mean a little interaction knowing the client what they like what they don't like the kind of products we have a range of products products that would um i'm not just a makeup artist i mean i learn skincare so I know what is good for your skin, for the oily skin, for the normal skin, for the dry skin. So if I'm able to put all this into perspective and I give the best and oftentimes they, they've never regretted it. They, I have loads of returning customers. I'm not even so big on social media, I must say. So most of my clientele are from referrals, people that have, um, have worked with and they will refer us I'm like oh that person i love the way they made us feel the makeup was beautiful was nice and makeup appropriate some people are very good but they don't even know how to do the appropriate makeup on that i mean somebody will come into your place now and tell you um i have a maiden and i just want to look good presentable and pour makeup on the person's face no that's not ideal you need to be able to wear the appropriate makeup on the person so that's that's been our selling point uh, knowing our client knowing what they want and being able to serve them mm, honestly <laughs> it is very difficult i must say but thankfully i have a very very understanding husband and um, my kids are no longer young they are old and out so i mean the early years it was difficult managing that family and um, work and all of that my husband had to stop me once i said no more sunday work i mean i work around the clock seven days a week and i'm like okay it's sundays just take a break so Sometimes I tell my clients, okay, if you want my assistant to come or you want me to send one artist to you if you don't mind. But I make exceptions for sometimes. So it's been, it's been okay, not so bad, honestly, but very demanding. I don't have a social life. I hardly go out. The parties that they would invite me to, I'm, I'm working, and by the time I'm done working, I can't go back, get ready for the party. At the end of the day, I'll just say, well, let me just go my rest, eh? I'll take myself out someday, and that's what we do sometimes. I mean, we just indulge, me, my staff and I, we just take ourselves out and we just indulge. But for parties and social life, it's very, because you might have planned a party or an event or dates with friends, I want clients to call you. I like money, sorry guys. <laughs> so I was just like, to them, to just show like, but I create time, I balance it out now well with family. I mean, when once I've planned something for the family, I don't, I don't go outside that. I make sure that I stick to the plan and, and we're good. <laughs>